Hello, I'm Brittany Maffitt. I'm a nurse practitioner at Prisma Health Endocrinology and Thyroid Specialist Center. And today we're discussing insulin. What does insulin do for the body? Insulin helps carry glucose into our cells so that it can be used for energy. Why would someone need to take insulin? Someone may need to take insulin if their body is not able to produce enough insulin naturally or if their body is not able to use their natural insulin appropriately. Why might patients resist taking insulin when it's recommended? A patient might resist taking insulin when recommended due to fear of thoughts, fear of needles. They may also be fearful that it may cause their blood sugar to fall too low. They may feel like it could affect their ability to perform their job. These are typically the most common reasons, and in some instances, patients have encountered a friend or family member that did not respond well to insulin, and this may influence their decisions or their thoughts about insulin as well. If you delay taking insulin when it's recommended, could this have a negative impact on your health? Not taking insulin when recommended when you are not able to make enough insulin naturally, this is typically seen in the type 1 diabetic population, can result in a life-threatening emergency, also known as diabetic ketoacidosis. Not taking insulin when recommended if you are not using insulin appropriately can cause you to have chronic high blood sugars, which can eventually damage your organs and cause multiple complications in the future. What are the different types of insulin? There are several types of insulin. There is long-acting and intermediate insulin. These are made to work in small constant doses while you're fasting and in between meals to keep your sugar regulated. There is short and fast-acting insulin, which is absorbed faster to allow coverage for meals and food or when your sugar spikes in general. And there's even mixed insulin, which combines long-acting with your short-acting insulin to allow you not to have to do as many injections throughout the day. Can you be allergic to insulin? You can be allergic or intolerant to insulin. But fortunately, there are multiple insulin analogs out there. So if you are intolerant to one, you usually can take another analog to control your glucose. What are the different delivery methods for insulin and how do they work? There are several different delivery methods for insulin, including a syringe, which you typically use to draw from a vial. There is an insulin pin, which can be dialed and does not require the use of a vial. There are insulin pumps, which you have to wear consistently and change every one to three days. And there's even inhaled insulin, which is actually used more through the oral and respiratory route. For people who are taking insulin, what tips do I have to make sure they are taking it correctly and getting the most benefit? The tips that I have are really acknowledging three things and knowing three things about your insulin. You need to know when it starts working, which is called the onset, when it works the strongest, which is called the peak, and how long it lasts in your body, which is called the duration of insulin. Knowing these things will allow you to time your insulin appropriately so that it covers your blood sugar correctly and doesn't result in high or low blood sugar inappropriately.